He comes off the line with long strides. The first thing you'll notice on this particular rush is he is headed straight up field, uh, testing the outside half of this, this tackle. Watch this uh, inside jab here. Real long stride, real long stride. Uh, and this is going to lurch the tackle. And then watch how explosive he is or springy he is off of that inside jab. Both hands come up, both hands club. And he beats the tackle around the edge. Watch that again. Like to see him on a, on a runway at nine tech, so he's not always rushing uh, with his hand in the dirt. Get him, give him a little bit of a runway to take on these tackles. It's an empty set, second and fifteen. They're throwing the ball. One thing we'll point out throughout the video, and I'm encouraged by this, is that he's constantly uh, working to get hands off of them. Uh, it's going to be a great asset if he can become more precise with his hands, but you won't find a pass rush where he's not trying to get uh, to win uh, with his hands. Uh, I like this, this rush here. Watch this second stride with his outside leg. Kind of just jumps square at the tackle there. Tackle's almost in a vertical set. He's, again, going to plant inside. Tackle shoots his arms. Both arms uh, of OA come up. Uh, just above where the bicep is, elbow, rip him down and beat him off the edge. Watch that again. He does lose his footing. We're concentrating on his hands as a rusher. It's again, against this right tackle. Right here, he grabs the outside wrist, rips it down or throws it off rather. And then with his inside arm, he's going to long arm stab this tackle. Watch the force he generates right here. Throws him right out of the way. Watch it again. There's a lot to talk about on this rush. Um, good stuff and stuff he needs to work on. He's head up over the guard. Could be three tech. It's hard for me to tell. In any case, he ends up engaged with the guard. He's going to pressure the quarterback into uh, almost throwing an interception. And he gets a hit on him. Uh, he's relentless here. Uh, getting after the quarterback tends to come off high you know he's going to expose his chest at the next level uh, he's also having to generate most of his power up top as he's not winning uh, leverage here or generally but what I like about this rush right there just that strength he's able to generate with that uh, length uh, on the inside shoulder uh, of the guard you can see the guard's got a little bit of cloth there he feels that i'd like to see him come over with a, a um, club overhand club but he does feel that he does try to free um that inside arm from his jersey right there see him kind of pull back with his left arm and kind of reach across with his right um and he's not going to be denied this hit so uh pretty interesting rush a lot to see there He sees the back outside helping. He's going to beat, beat the tackle inside. Watch the violence in the hands, again with the hands. And the tackle basically <laughs> tackles him. But you see him coming off the line here with a plan. Get a sense of him here being a little less than precise as he shoots his hands. But, but the other thing is, look at the length. You can just tell. Look how long his arms are right there. He's going to shoot this right arm here, going to try to stab and long arm. You can see he misses outside. Look where his arm ends up. And if he comes off with his chest kind of exposed, guys with long arms and better technique are going to punch him right in the chest. Um, but he's working his hands throughout this whole rep. And I want you to see, watch this stride here. Watch this stride toward the quarterback. His pads are actually pretty good on this one. Watch the uh, tackle's going to shoot an arm right away at him. Right there, you can see that arm coming toward him. Watch how instinctive he is. He goes to grab the wrist. Uh, manages to slip out of his grasp. But watch him use his... Um, leverage there and his quickness to shoot that gap beat that block watch it again now this is good stuff uh re remember 
Uh, and this will put you in the mind of a rush you've already seen. But watch what he does at the end here. It's very similar to some of the moves you've seen earlier. Right there. And remember I said earlier, I wish he would have done more to get that outside arm off. Heads up, up field, outside shoulders him. Inside, there comes the hands of the tackle. Vicious swat. And I like how he leans away here as he pulls that arm down. Now watch, the tackle still has his arms. Still trying to push him past the pocket, and then Odafe with his right arm, inside arm, is going to swat that thing and get a hit on the quarterback. So all the way through this rush, you see great stuff um, in terms of setup, in terms of working the hands.